Hello all, and um, I'm sorry for the delay and the inactivity recently. The basic explanation is, you know, I've just been settling back into school and I just have not had time to make any new videos. I'm going to try and um, upload more vi videos. Um, I'm going to try and um, record more videos, I'm sorry, um, during during the weekend and upload them throughout the week to try and show some level of activeness and I think that might be, I think I might, that might be my new, um, the new way I, I work, but, um, so I might not be commenting on as many videos as I was before, but we'll see how this works, we'll see how this goes, and, um, this is going to be a response video to Big Rat 310 and his book, The Push Challenge, and, um, this will probably be the first of many parts because um, I've put a lot of attention to detail into this. Um, it's not something that I can do in one video, but we'll see. We'll see how many parts it'll take. I don't know how many parts it will take off the top of my head, but you, you know, I'm going to start this now. I'm going to see how it goes. Um, this is going to be, I'm going to be booking the push of Ricky Steamboat's son. Now, some people call him Ricky Steamboat Jr. Some people call him Richie Steamboat. I'm not actually sure what the ex what um, his r ring name is. He's just started in FCW now, um, but um, we're going to call him Richie Steamboat just to like give him his own name, um, just to like make it a little bit easier. Um, Ricky Steamboat Jr. doesn't kind of roll off the tongue. I don't think as much as Richie Steamboat. So we're going to call him Richie Steamboat for the purposes of this. And um, he's just been signed to FCW, so we're gonna br we're gonna bring him up pretty quickly, and we're going to get him over in a big way. That's what we're gonna do here. So let's get started. This is the night after WrestleMania, the night after WrestleMania, and um, for the purposes of this, let us assume that Jericho is on Raw and he's the WWE champion. Let don't ask me that it's not relevant how that happened. It's not any way relevant to this. But it's the night after WrestleMania, it, we're on Raw, Jericho is there, and he's the WWE Champion. Well, how he got there is not important, but that's what we are at right now. Vince comes out, and he announces that the guest host um, run is over. There are going to be no more guest hosts, and it's going to be down to him to name a new general manager. And that's going to be his job. Now, he's interrupted. Um, he goes in his tirade about how he's going to pick the general manager that would bring order back to the brand because, of course, um, the guest host was a terrible idea by J Donald Trump, and um, he's going to have to restore order to Raw by um, by getting a GM that we can all be proud of. And then he's interrupted by the last guest host. And let's just assume this might not be how it actually turns out, but let's assume that the last guest host was Stone Cold. So Stone Cold comes out, he gets his huge pop, and he tells Mis Mr. McMahon. Oh no, he was the last guest host, and as his last official act, he was the one who named the new permanent general manager of Raw. And Vince is obviously understandably upset about this, and he wants to know, well, who who have you brought in as the new general manager, and how can, how can you do that when I am the owner of this company, and I can just change it if I want to? And Stone Cold says, no, it was in my power to do that while I was the guest host of Raw, and you cannot fire the person that I have hired unless you have a legitimate reason. You cannot say, you're fired, and not have a reason for it. So Vince is very upset now and wants to know who it is, and, and Stone Cold starts talking about how at last year's WrestleMania, after watching Steamboat wrestle, that he got to talking to Steamboat, and he met his son. He met his son for the first time, Richie Steamboat, and he quite liked his son. And then, after going on in this spiel for um, for a few t for a while, he um, an announces that Richie Steamboat is the new general manager of Raw. Richie Steamboat is the new general manager of Raw. He comes out. He feeds off Austin to get his um, his cheers, even though he's new and um, he's green. But he gets he feeds off Austin to get his cheers, and. Um, he comes in and starts, um, he, he addresses the crowd and he, um, he basically tries to get along with everyone. He's friendly, he's nervous, like, Richie Steamboat is 22 years old, 23, 22, I can't actually remember what the actual figure is. So um, Vince McMahon is going to be like, um, okay, this guy is so young, Why, how can you think it's a good idea to make him the general manager of the show? But Vince, it, but Stone Cold is going to stand by it. You're going to get the idea that Stone Cold is not actually trying to do 
what's best for Raw. He's just trying to, pinch up, to piss off Vince McMahon one last time. So Richie Steamboat comes in. He's friendly. He's nervous. But he's trying to get along with everyone. He's trying to be, oh, let's make Raw the best show ever. Let's all get along. Let's have a great time. All this stuff. Very naive. He has to come off as naive. He's very naive. He's new. He doesn't understand what he's doing. Well, he does understand what he's doing, but he just comes off as very naive because he's trying to get along with everyone, which you definitely cannot do in the wrestling world. But um, that's what he thinks he can do. He thinks he can get along with everyone. He thinks no one has any reason to be mad at him. And that is automatically contradicted when the WWE Champion, Chris Jericho, comes out and he is very upset. He's very upset that the new general manager not only is, the, is, is Ricky Steamboat's son, because of course Jericho and Ricky Steamboat do not like each other, but um, he's just so upset that the new general manager of Raw is this young kid who has never really had any experience in the job and just cannot do a good... There's no way he could be a good general manager. Jericho takes exception. He's very rude. He's, you know, brash, he's in your face, he's the Jericho heel that everyone loves to hate, and Steamboat can just not deal with this. He cannot deal with this sort of pressure. He cannot deal with being put on the spot so quickly. He's naive, he's young, he's not, he's not suited to pressure. He just can't do it. So when Jericho is cutting him down and really coming on hard on him, he just, he kind of, he doesn't completely wilt, but he... He tries to get along with Jericho. He tries to, you know, reason with Jericho. Okay, I can hear what you're saying. I know this is a sort of a new relationship, but you know, let's um, let's see how how this goes. Let's move forward. You're my champion, and I want us to get along. So don't try and don't judge me before you can see if I'm going to do this job or not. I know you're. So he just tries to he tries to reason with Jericho and tries to console him and just trying to he doesn't assert his authority is basically what I'm trying to say he doesn't assert any authority he's just trying to he's just trying to get on Jericho's side he's he's on the defense when as GM he should be on the offense but he's on the defense when Jericho comes in to make an example of him so he he decides then that he's gonna put Jericho in the main event you know try to pacify him by making it seem like he is the main event which he is so he's going to be in the main event, he's going to be the main attraction of tonight's show, and he's going to be against the guy who came out, I forgot to add this in, who came out while Jericho was talking Steamboat down, MVP. MVP came out during Jericho's tirade and tried to defend Steamboat. And then Steamboat um, cuts in and says, okay, Jericho, look, um, I know um, this is a new general manager and you're, you're worried about what's going to happen now, but let me show you my faith in you, let me put you in the main event. You can face MVP and we'll see, um, everyone can see that you are the champion and I can, I can show you that I, ha I, I have faith in you and I will not screw you over. So that is the opening promo and um, throughout the night, um, Jer throughout the night, throughout this night of Raw, Jericho is going to all these other superstars, mo all these heel superstars and saying, isn't this horrible, isn't this just stupid, we have a, ge we have a general manager who, who doesn't have a clue what he's doing, he, Stone Cold is just an idiot. And this is idiotic. We have a general manager who's 22, 23 years old, and, you know, he has no experience. This is horrible. We have to do something about this. And he gets, he gets the heels behind him. And this panics Steamboat. And he has MVP with him a lot. And he's and MVP is trying to, at the same time, you know, um, calm him down. But at the same time saying, you can't let Jericho walk all over you. You have to assert your authority. But this doesn't get through to Steamboat right now. But that, that'll be the basis of his um his general manager reign getting his confidence asserting his authority so we have mvp versus jericho for the main event of that show and mvp wins cleanly he wins cleanly mvp is an upper mid card guy who um you can believe that he might beat jericho but jericho is the better guy most of the time you think that jericho would be the guy that would win that match but on this occasion mvp was the better man everyone can believe that but Jericho, of course, blames it on Steamboat. He finds a way to blame it on Steamboat. And um, we're going to see that um, erupt um, in, in the next weeks and in the months to come. I am not going to take an entire video to discuss one show. No, I'm not. That's, this is just... Um,
This is just the, for the start of it, so it's going to result in um, a longer discussion time. But it will not take a whole video to go through every single raw. It will not. Um, but this is just what I had to do for this first raw. And now, with that, that is the first part of this series. I'm out. Goodbye.